Vinny Holiday, it definitely does seem like a good chunk of the Republican Party and base are moving away from Trump seems more permanent. But I know you have consistently argued that Trump will continue to rule the party. What am I not understanding about how you see this playing out? Um, I'm not convinced that the base... I haven't seen evidence that the base is moving away, frankly. In terms of his numbers, his popularity still seems to be there. I will also say, if you look at the numbers in 2016 at this point, they're not any uh, better for him in the 2016 side. They're certainly not any better than they are here. If there is a mechanism in which the Republican Party can somehow scare everybody out of the primary, except for like Ron DeSantis and I don't know, Tulsi Gabbard or, or you know, somebody else, uh, one other one or two other people, uh, then I think there's a chance. But the fact is, is that Trump still has a plurality of support and it's the most unshakable support. And um, so that's what I think. I, I, I think that if it's if there is a field of more than four or five candidates, I just don't see how people are like, well, I like DeSantis. Well, I like Asa Hutchinson. Well, I like yeah, Trump's Ted. the plurality guy. Like yeah. he's the guy who'll get the pl pl like the plurality in mm -hmm. the primary and in, in, in our in my yep. estimation too. And to your guys' point too, like 2015 this time around. There, this was still when people were like, oh, like Trump's a sideshow. Um, He'll boom and bust like all the others. I'll tell you this. This is Scott Walker. I was reminded out, of this. Like, In 2015, I, uh, Chris Hayes had a, uh, an episode where it was like a, um, like a, like a rotisserie or a lottery. Like, a, what do you call those? Like a, a, a draft? Yeah. It was like a draft mm. of, you know, mock draft of of uh, candidates who would get through the primary and there were four of us i can't remember who the other people were to be honest and there was 20 because it at that point there was like 20 people who had declared and it was sort of like becoming a clown car donald trump had yet to declare and he was like a like a bonus joke pick right. nobody <laughs> took him seriously and i mean it, it was completely out of the question whether he would even be like relevant in the thing if the, he was even to run. And I remember the day I also happened to be on, on Hayes the night that he came down the escalator and I was in the green room and uh, with, uh, I think it was Eamon and I, I, I want to say Katie Turr maybe, I'm not sure. And they were in, not in the green room in, in makeup. And I, and, they, and I watched the video of him coming down the thing and, and they were, everybody was sort of laughing. I'm like, that dude is going to win the primary and everybody thought I, like they all looked at me like i was like like ranting and raving i'm like this is the most important thing that's happened in the entire election and they looked at me like i was a lunatic um and and i i think that, just to give you a sense of like what everybody's like general conventional wisdom yeah. was at that time i mean that's what this is i mean it's sort of as to bradley's point it's replicating itself now it's just a little bit different because there's so much more baggage associated with him and I do think he's a way weaker general election candidate this time around. But if it is the clown car situation 2.0, the only thing that he'll that, rise to the top, I would guess. The only thing that is a, a, a legitimate sort of knock on him is that he lost in 2020, which is why they spend so much time on saying it was stolen. Denied, yep. Mm -hmm. Because. It's one thing to say, he like, he's, he's anti-immigrant. He's the, like, what is the criticism? Like, here's the, what is the criticism that you can make about Donald Trump that you're not going to be able to make about every single other Republican candidate? Nothing except he's weak in the general election. What's the proof he lost in 2020? But there's a significant portion of the Republican Party who will not believe that because they have been set up to not believe it. and a significant portion of the elected republicans and official republicans that will message that yeah and because they have to have because to. that same like rock solid 30 some odd percent of the republican party i would argue it's actually probably closer to 40 percent of the republican party but whatever is like wait what you're you're against the donald man forget it yeah. and because like that that's the thing is like the you're so 
we're gonna you're gonna be tired of winning thing that was like one of his best lines because that appeals to so many people yep. like and uh, republicans might get tired of losing